Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Pass Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. This morning in reading in Proverbs chapter 8, I see this. Starting in verse 4. People, I call out to you. My cry is to mankind. This is the statement of wisdom. People, I call out to you. My cry is to mankind. Learn discretion, you who are inexperienced. Develop common sense, you who are foolish. So many times we think that we can just glom on to what other people have to say and run with it without taking just a little bit of time to learn where that statement came from, from them. One of the things I tell my congregation all the time, and I need to say more here, is that everything I share with you, you should be reading yourself. And if I'm getting it wrong, I need you to message me. Or if you have a question about what I say, I need you to message me. Because I can get stuff messed up. I'm not going to say my heart is wrong because I believe everything I say. But I also know that I can get things messed up. I can, I can run with something I was told as a child that I think I absolutely know but have never checked. And I may share it with you, and it may not be quite right. Uh, this morning, I received an email from somebody that was checking me on something. And they they didn't like something that um, was said. And, and I appreciated it. But they were using information that they were told, not information that they studied out for themselves. And they sent me a, a, a source reference to check um, that backed up what they were saying. And, and I appreciated that because it gave me some insight into what the, where they were coming from. And so I read the source, the, the resource they sent me. And I followed up on the sources out of that to find out what it was that they were trying to say and where what their background was. Now, this person has a, a very similar background to me as far as our beliefs. But yet, the person that they referenced in one article to support what I... support what they were saying that I said was wrong, in the article they sent me and in all of the subsequent other articles that I could find by that same person, that person didn't hell hold the beliefs that we do. And so I guess what I'm saying is you need to learn discretion. A little bit of due diligence on your part can save you a whole lot of headache. So often we get hung up on the Bible doesn't say that that because we were always told that. Or the Bible says this, and it's only because we were told that. One of the greatest leaps in my walk of faith was when I was able to say, everything I've ever been taught is wrong. I need to read the Bible and let the Holy Spirit teach me, and then check other sources, and then check it with what I was taught. And if the things I was taught at the very beginning match what I believe the Word says today, then praise God. And if they don't, I'm going to go with what the Bible says. People, I call out to you. My cry is to mankind. Learn discretion. You who are inexperienced, develop common sense. Develop common sense, you who are foolish. Sometimes, just a little bit of extra work can take us a really long ways. Try to remember that today. But on the other side of it, when you go to church and your pastor talks to you, make notes of what references he used. Make notes of what he said, what stood out to you. Go check it. And then have a conversation with him if there's something you don't understand. You'll both grow from it. It's a good way to deal with it. I love y'all. 
It is Sunday. You should get to church. I don't care where you go. Find some place that preaches out of the Bible and the pastor lets you follow up with him on what he's preached. He may not be able to give you an hour every week to rehash the sermon. But he will be glad to receive an email from you saying, these are my concerns, can we, can we hash it out together? And he'll take some time and he'll either in another email explain it to you or spend some time talking to you in person about what it is. Because if you care to learn, he cares to teach. I love y'all. Have a great day. God bless.